What if the soft glow of your bedside lamp is quietly shifting your gut? Or perhaps you don't sleep in a totally dark bedroom. So what's actually doing to your health? That was the question that followed me to Oxford last year. So I joined the Sleep and Circadian Neuroscience Institute at Oxford for my master's research under obviously supervision of Professor Stuart Pearson's guidance and also obviously the warm welcome from Professor Russell Foster. I spent four months tracking mouse behavior, analyzing microbiome samples, but also their food intake behavior and studying one small variable, four hours of dim light in the evening. And what we found was unexpected. It didn't trigger a breakdown. It caused a gradual shift. And this shift in feeding, sleep, and microbial rhythms, the kind of things that builds up over time without you noticing. So now I ask my patients, not just what do they eat, but when they eat and sleep and what kind of light exposure they have. Because even small changes in evening lighting can ripple obviously through your biology. And sometimes that's the missing link. If you want to learn more about this theme, check out my latest blog post where I explore this in great depth. I'm really looking forward to hear your comments below about this important topic.